What's happening with it? This is Slink Johnson, a.k.a. Black Jesus, your Lord and Savior. And you're listening to the Red Rock Podcast Network. How you love that? You are listening to the Red Rock Podcast Network, featuring Pod of Thrones and the Shiznit. This is the Red Rock Podcast Network. From Red Rock Studios in Los Angeles, California, this is the Shiznit. Now, put your hands together for the Shiznit. Hey, welcome back to another episode of the Shiznit Show. I'm your boy. I'm your host, Dino Red. And I have with me, as usual, my ride or dies, Miss Dejon Monique. Hey, hey, hey. Y'all know what time it is. What's up, world? It's your girl. The man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Pip Lily. Sometimes my toes curl when I'm on the Twilter world. <laughs> I'm kidding. That was fresh. Y'all know that. <laughs> that was better. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> Shout out to John Buchanan of the Brand X Podcast. And the reason why I'm, I'm shouting him out right now is because I feel bad for him because he has a hard time with your name, Dejan. Oh. <laughs> you should hear him. You have a hard time with my name, too. I know she I don't. Does. He does? Yeah. My name is not Dejan. What is your name? Dejan. Dejan. All right. I stand okay. corrected, too. <laughs> just, so, just, so, just so y'all know All y'all right. having a hard time but it's okay i'm used to it i have an accent i do <laughs> no i'm saying i have an accent oh no okay no i have like an accent mark in my name okay dijon thank you uh <laughs> Yeah, no, but he has a. He just calls you Monique. I, I, I saw that. I realized that. I was like, okay, well, I knew who he was talking about. At, after after a little while, first I thought he was talking about Monique. Monique, right? The the the, the comedian. Comedian. But then I was like, no, no, he, he means me. I mean, the most de- most decorated <laughs> black should, comedian. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Definitely knew he was talking about you because he had the hard time before the just giving up and saying Monique. So. I know. <laughs> Poor thing. Well, I totally understand. Yeah. I want to hear him say it now, though. I don't. I don't know if he. <laughs> I don't he, know. He doesn't really attempt it. T T T says like I. What he just and he just goes to Monique. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. Like all oh, my substitute teachers in school. You know my drag character's name is Monique. Really? Yeah, it's Little Monique. Mini Monique. <laughs> Monique. <laughs> <He's like> Monique. Because <laughs> like he's that. inspired by Monique. I like that. Yeah. So what did he say, Dina? I told you he doesn't really. Say it like he just he kind of no. I mean, what was his comment? What did he? What was he? Oh, he you're shut up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, fuck you, didn't no, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, he uh, he was talking about the um, what was it? I guess it was the uh, the story about uh, it was one of your stories. Okay, forget, but it was one of your stories. I think he was bringing up, or it, it might have been just the fact that he was trying to say everyone's all the host name. Of the ah, he, he just could... shout out. And we, they don't like just doing like Dino. They want to say Pip and they want to say Dijon and all that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can understand. Well, speaking of stories, I had a freaking Uh-oh. interesting. Uh, I had an interesting morning today. You mean getting here? Getting here, yeah. Well, you know, uh, well, you guys know I've been having car trouble, so I've been taking the bus to the show for the past. Well, I don't even know how long now, but I've been taking the bus yeah. to the show in the mornings, and every now and then. Um, it's this one black lady who I get on, and she always has like a snarky attitude. Mm-hmm. And not the driver, a passenger. The driver, the driver, the bus driver. She always has a snarky attitude. You know, I get in there in the morning. What'd I'm like, do? why, why, what would she, what'd you do? I'm gonna tell you. I get on the bus in the morning, and I do nothing. Surprise! I didn't do anything. She has an attitude. She has an attitude. Because... When the door is open up for the bus, she's already. No, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Frowns. Hold on, hold on. 
A black woman. Black woman. <laughs> attitude, but no reason. I'm no reason. telling you, unheard of. Okay, yeah. Unheard I'm not of. This is not me. Unheard of. I've okay. never seen anything like this in my life. I, I don't believe it. It's like a unicorn. No, yeah, it, it really is. <laughs> she was. She's like the black unicorn because all black women are like hella nice. So I didn't even know where she, where she, especially, where she came especially from. Especially if they work in a in a customer service job. Okay. Hello. When they got to deal with people all day long. Yeah. Mm. Which just makes them sweeter. Which is makes she's just so nice. <laughs> I'm sure she bakes pies and cookies. But anyway, she opened up the door and she was frowning. And I was like, Good morning. And I asked her something about, you know, my fare. And she didn't even respond. So I was starting to ask her, like, Well, are you having a bad day? What's going on? But I just let it go. I just went back to my seat. Like, mind you, this is not the first time that I've had this encounter with this lady. So I'm in my seat. I got my headphones on. And the next thing I know, I hear like a commotion coming from the front of the bus. So I pop out one ear, but like, uh, what's happening or, you know, what's going on? And there was another black lady who got on the bus and she was very, very nice. Cause you know, black people, we don't, we're not mean. <laughs> and she was, but she was reading the bug, the black, the black bus driver lady. She was reading her. Like you always got an attitude when I get on this bus. <laughs> you rude. Whoop, 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 whoop. I'm gonna sit right here and have my conversation, and you gonna drive this bus to Slauson, and that's where I'm gonna get off. And you gonna hear my mouth until I get off on Slauson. I was I like, recorded. Oh no, I was I was into it. This was good. Yeah, you should have picked, just recorded it. Nah, it was okay. It was fast. It, ha- it happened fast. I wasn't even thinking about recording. <laughs> I was in my own world because I was like, I knew it. I knew that black lady was on some shit. This ain't her first time. This is like my third or fourth time riding with, with this lady on the bus. And she always got an attitude. I was thinking that same thing. So I'm not crazy. Everybody always be trying to say I be starting stuff. And I don't. I don't be starting stuff. You see what I'm saying? If I would have hit this black lady up this morning, everybody would have been like, oh my God, Dijon, she's a, a public servant. She's a bus driver. Why you, why you do her like that? But see, no, no. See, she would have had it coming. She was crazy. Oh, hell no. Thank you. She was crazy. She you know had an attitude problem. You know we should record it? So Dejong and I took the bus <gasps> home yes. after the show together last week. Oh. And we sat in front of this older black woman oh, yes. who had some thoughts on the world. I, talk about an auntie. Yes. She was not having it. First of all, all these dumbass niggas out here, they're all <laughs> ignorant. <laughs> She yeah. said she said something about people wearing scarves and I had my scarf on. I almost turned around like, bitch, what are you saying? She read everybody. She read everybody. She don't like and these rollover niggas like Steve Harvey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Roll Kanye, on over. She does not have enough. She is not. She is not here for all the black people that is not where, where she know where she come from. That's all I got. Said she, you said don't she know, know her you, tribe. She know her tribe. So she, so she's not here for all the black people who are lost in the world. She's not here, and she, she was crazy. That was interesting. She was. I actually started to give her my card so she could be a guest on our show because I actually did. I found her so interesting. She, I couldn't do nothing. I was just like this. Bringing nobody like that on my. <laughs> What you talking about? Because she could be our mother spirit. I'm telling you, I had to take my ear off and put it in the back seat because I needed she, to get all the tea. She was actually dropping knowledge. The best thing she said was like, she goes, uh, she goes, what time? I don't need no man, but I'm gonna get a man. I don't need no broke ass man. Broke ass man is good when you're laying down, <laughs> but not when you get up. But not when you get up. <laughs> I don't I need no broke ass nigga that. when I'm getting up. I forgot she said that. She <laughs> sure did. She said, "What's a broke ass nigga good for? Good for laying down. Ain't good for shit when you're getting up, though." I was like, "Oh shit, Auntie." That's knowledge. She she was dropping all the gems. You know you want her on the show. She had all the gems. The man, the man she was talking to even said, "You need a show." She said, "I don't need no motherfucking show." I said, "Oh shit, she is real." Yeah, because somebody would assassinate her. Oh, that's what she said. That is what she said. That's, she said somebody was gonna kill her. She had a show. Oh she would God. get killed. <laughs> I'm telling you, if you had a weave, she read you. She had a lady with a weave, and that was sitting up front. An older lady with a weave turned around like, "What, bitch?" Like, yeah, she was reading everybody. She didn't care. Let me she say, care. if you live in the Los Angeles metro area and you can't afford cable TV, take the bus. <laughs> <laughs> 
she has something to say about TV too. Remember, she was like, well, she's like, she ain't had a TV in her house in five years. People can't go without TV. Throw the motherfucker out the window. That's what she said. Well, Throw she the damn also, TV out. She also said that black people are addicted to white entertainment mm, and that white did. people are feeding them these all this stuff and they don't know enough about themselves and they're working so hard to get into the white media world when we need to be creating our own. That's true. That is what she said. She, I'm telling you, she was dropping gems. Okay, well, speaking of uh, guests on the show and all that stuff, we have some special guests here today. Yes, we do. Right. I know you've been looking forward to I this have. Stuff, right? I'm so excited. It's going to be interesting. So to let you guys know, give you fair warning, we won't have our regularly scheduled program. I mean, what I mean is we won't do the topics and all the different segments like we normally do. We're just going to sit down and we're going to talk to this couple, uh, this Eros and Isis from the Priority Society. They're here with us today, and they're swingers. And they're going yes. to come in, and they're going to come in the studio. They're going to break it down. They're going to tell us all about swinging and just, hey. And if you're if you're interested or you <laughs> want to know what it is. Exactly. They're going to answer everything today. Everything. So we're going to have them in the studio, and it's going to be great. It's going to be awesome. So, okay, we're going to have our guest intro, and then they'll be here in the studio. Okay, and welcome to the Shiznit Show, Eros and Isis. Yeah, What's up, guys? Hey. Good to be here with you. Hey, thank you guys, first of all, so much for coming in. We really appreciate it. Thank and you for having us. Thank you. And uh, we're really excited about this. Super excited. <laughs> That's great. We've been listening to you guys, checking you guys out. First Good. of all, you guys have a great show. Um, I appreciate Kip and I that. were saying that we love your voices. You sound, love it. sound very uh, professional mm-hmm. and and uh, very, very uh, knowledgeable. Oh, wow. Thank I you. I was going to go with erotic, but okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, that too. I'll take smart too. Yeah. <laughs> what but, about? Uh, yeah, it sounds like you guys could be voiceover actors and actresses or whatever. And you guys have great, great sound. Your voice sounds really good. Your podcast is good quality, very good production. So, uh, especially for newbies, that's very impressive. Yeah. So. Thank you. Appreciate it. You know, we basically modeled it after standard podcasts that are out there, not, not the lifestyle podcasts slash swinger podcasts that are out there. Right. Those guys are like, hey, I'm so-and-so, and I'm so-and-so, and, you know, it's, it's real casual. Right. And, we, you know, we listen to other shows, like, you got you professional sound quality, mm-hmm. so we wanted to be a little bit more mainstream, you know, okay. make it easy to listen yeah. to. Yeah, okay. Well, great. It, it also has that sense of, like, uh, uh, because of the way you guys speak and the tone that you guys speak, it sets a mood for it, and so, and, act, and it's appropriate for what you're talking about. And it's actually, you know, you listen to some things, and it's like music. It, it's, it sounds good. It's not, it's not just the information. You guys sound great. Mm-hmm. It's sexy mm-hmm. talk. Thank you. It puts it's you sexy. in the mood yeah. for something yeah. sexy. When you do, when you listen do, to that. When you, <laughs> hey, when you're doing sexy talk, man, you know, you, 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 it's, you're seducing each other. We're, you know, we're in the studio usually getting hammered. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we make drinks. Yeah. 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 That's what I'm talking about. A little bar setup. And then when we bring guests in, man, it, we don't even start recording until after a few margaritas. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Or whatever, something else, you know? I love but, uh, margaritas. It's my favorite. Yeah, are we allowed to cuss on here? Oh, yes. Yeah. I just want to make oh, sure. Oh, Was it marked yeah. as explicit? Yes, So it this is. podcast yeah, is explicit. Oh, yeah, I like perfect. it. Perfect. Yeah, we're going to do a family podcast on swinging. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on the Disney Channel. <laughs> Hannah Montana will be hosting. Right. <laughs> With all due respect, may I have your wife? Yeah. <laughs> Very respectful, you know? Well, Very yes, respectful. you can. Okay, so with that, let's let's get right into it. The first thing I always like to ask people when they have an unusual name attached to their show or podcast or whatever is about the name. So that's because that's the first thing if someone looks you guys up, the Priority Society, they're going to find that. I know you tell us about it in your first episode, but for our listeners who haven't heard you guys, What's the, what's the significance of that name? Yeah, absolutely. The, the Priory Society uh, came about in history. There, there's been a lot of secret societies, and uh, what happens is that they teach each other either uh, secrets of the ages, spiritual teachings, you know, churches. Priory actually means an old church or like a church, and so the Priory Society, uh, because swinging is uh, not like a secret society. You can't tell your neighbors, can't can't tell, talk to your friends about it. <laughs> You can't be open and upfront uh, with your coworkers. You get in trouble. If you mention anything about fantasies in your workplace, I mean, if someone just feels uncomfortable, you're, right, you're going right. to right. go get to fired. HR. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that'll oh, be yeah. a short. Yeah. So the Priory Society was exactly that. Hey, let's start a uh, podcast where we can teach people 
the ins and outs of getting started if that's what they want. We're not here to convince anybody. It's very mm -hmm. important that your listeners realize that. I mean, we're going to talk about it. We, you, I know you have a lot of questions. I've seen those questions, and they're, they're amazing. And so we uh, wanted to make sure that they get a glimpse inside the sexual secret society that my wife and I are involved in. Mm -hmm. And anything else you'd like to add to that? It is secret, and it is naughty, but once you're in it, it's just it opens up a whole world that it, there's this big it's like a brotherhood awesome. in a way yeah yeah and it